So this ISF and ALF is generally we are calculating based on the fault current, and this is a standard one. ISF is a standard one, but these may change again with respect to the burden. So you have to calculate check that, and you have to again figure out whether the equipment which is connected on the secondary side of my connection is in safe with respect to the metering and whether the my alf is within the fault current is less than the uh, saturated uh, current of the cp in case of the protection because this alf is 10 now but if you are connecting the button to the relay if that button of the CT, if, if you if you choose the button of the CT, you require five VA, VA, but you connected only one VA, then the ALF will not be 10. The ALF will be 15. The practical, the uh, ALF, the practical ALF will be 15. So you have to check that condition again in a reverse, whether my fault current is less than the uh, current where my CT is entering into the saturation for the protection core. And I am checking the metering uh, in the with respect to the metering that whether my uh, secondary side of the current is uh, safe or cap the current is capable to uh, the, the relays which are connected on the secondary side of my metering CT or capable to withstand that secondary. Uh, fault current or secondary uh, current on on the on the with respect to this uh, change in the rated button or actual button sounds good team any uh, any uh, doubts here am i clear Very, very important. Uh, uh, Santoshi, one small doubt. Uh, suppose the meter which we are connecting to this uh, uh, CT, uh, suppose the CT is uh, 0 0.5 class. I'm asking for the metering one. Yeah. Okay, metering CT. If, is, if it is 0 0.5 class, then uh, uh, what can be the uh, meter, meter class? It should be more than that or it should be less than that? Suppose... Uh, how how this the meter and the metering CT is selected the class size I am asking which one should be more accurate? Point two is more accurate than point five. No no point at that I know point two is uh, point two yes zero point two yes is always highest accuracy that is okay. My concern is suppose your uh, meet your uh, CT is point five. Okay? okay. Then what will be the uh, uh, meter? Whether it should be more uh, accurate than the CT or how it is? Which meter you are filling? Oh, oh okay. You uh, the the Can meter I... you are connecting to that uh, CT, yeah. CT, yes, 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 correct, correct, yeah. Yes, yes. That metering obviously should be uh, less than this or equal to this. Uh, means uh, uh, more accurate. Means suppose if we are yeah, giving 0 0.5. Right. 0 0.5 uh, CT, then we can have 0 0.2 class meters, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Or or 0 0.5. It sh it That's shall right. not be. More than it shall not be more than uh, means class one meter. We should not use correct. No. Yes. 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 Ah, okay. Okay. Clear. Clear. Thank you. Okay. So this is about instrument security safety factor and accuracy limit factor for metering and protection. Team, any doubts? Ahmad, Sunil, am I clear to you? Okay, cool. So this is about these are the some important things that we are looking in the CT team. Suppose now if you if I ask you uh, do the sizing for this uh, CT um, uh, for our 33 kV CT, this is my 33 kV CT. I'm having two uh, one is for the metering and one is for the uh, protection. Now I am telling one core should this CT should saturate at some level. And this CT should set at some level, but the same core it cannot be possible, right? So for this application, if you are having that kind of scenarios, the CT should have two cores. 
core one, core two, two cores. The core one is designed with respect to the metering. The core two is designed with respect to the protection. So I can say that a 400 bar, one dash, one amp. This is the core one. Core one is for my metering, uh, point two or class. And but then is suppose while calculated, I got five EA. And I'm mentioning that ISF should be less than five. This is my representation of my uh, core one. And the core two is a protection class CD. And I required five P10. 5P10. What is 5P10? 5% up to 10 times of the rated current. 10 is the ALF. So this is the uh, other type of class it is. You can see 5P10, 5P20 class CT, 5P10 class it is. But then again, 5E or whatever it may be, is this, this is the uh, representation or the uh, description you are giving for the protection course it is. 5P10 class, 5P20 class, 2010. These are this is the ALF. And 5P, 10P, 20P depends upon the percentage how you want. So it totally depends upon your choice, whether you're going for 5% error or 10% error. So this is the representation. Now, again, with respect to this, you have to calculate the what is uh, the next step, uh, as I said, the button effect on the isf and the button effect on the alf this is the check this is the condition you have to again check that uh, will give a conclusion for your ct sizing for a overcurrent protection all these things and apart from this the ct is the ct is also having the ct is should also be considered the C when you are sizing the CTs. In some conditions, you have to take some. You have to look into the some conditions that the CTs should not be saturated for asymmetrical faults. A DC component. See, if you are having X by R ratio of the system, generally the generators near to the generators near to the uh, source, the X by R is very high, nearly forty. And for the distribution uh, near to the loads, it should be low, like X by R, it should be 10. So uh, if there is X by R is high, the X by R ratio is high near to the generators. So the DC component will be high, decay, the, 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 the time decay of the DC component is low. So this may lead the CT center into the saturation. So that is also one condition uh, we will take care when we feel there is a chance of DC component in the, in the systems. So that design is required if you are having a CTs, if you are sizing the CTs for the generators, near to the generators mostly. If you check here also no problem, but it's not much needed here. We will use generally that, uh, that condition whether my CT that you are just ensuring that the CT should not be saturated for the DC component for the DC component in the system. We'll we'll talk that uh, in a while. So this is the condition that holds good here for metering and protection CTs. Then what about uh, then this is the fine. This is the fine. Uh, everything is good here. Now. <clears throat> Let's see in this way. Let's uh, go back to our uh, presentation. Yeah, here only the presentation is there. Yeah. So one more important uh, class of CT, which we will call just it till now we discussed about two classes of CT. One is metering class, other one is a protection class. In the protection class, as I had said before, we are having two types of work on protections, normal protections, and these unit protections. 
we will so in the unit productions uh, there is a some uh, dis some disturbances in the cts uh, for the external faults we will talk that concept so for this the ct should be designed with respect to the some other condition specific conditions that class cts we will call as a special class it special protection ps class it is so the ps class it is was represented with a uh, with a concept of knee point voltage what is the knee point voltage this is a significance of the saturation level of the ct or mainly used for the protection purposes the sinusoidal voltage or f rated frequency applied to the secondary terminals of the ct with the winding being open circuited when you are increasing the 10% of the rise of excitation current which will increase sorry when you are increasing 10% of the voltage causing the excitation current to increase 50% so at that point you can say that the ct entered into the saturation like this generally uh, when you are increasing the voltage the excitation current also increasing linearly but after at some point when you increasing at 10% of rise in voltage the excitation current increasing 50% see only 10% change in the voltage but excitation current is increasing much 